Terry and Joe met online. It couldn't be more perfect. They talk until dawn. You're so silly. You're, you're silly. They love the same YouTube videos. <laughs> now it's time to meet face to face, heart to heart, mouth to mouth. Hi. Killer breath when love just isn't enough. We're joined by our good friend, <laughs> dentist, Dr. Miguel Stanley. Welcome back, sir. Hey, hey. hi, guys. Hey. And I'm really glad we're going to look at bad breath from a different angle because we always assume that if someone has bad breath, it means they have bad oral hygiene, but that is not always the case. People usually think, well, I brush my teeth so much, why does my breath stink? So I want to get into something that almost everybody happen, uh, has sooner or later in their life, which is a tooth extraction. Like when you have a tooth removed, when you pull a tooth, you have a hole, and that hole is slowly filled with blood, and that creates a blood clot, and after a, a while, that blood clot will slowly turn into new bone and new gum, and that's the amazing regenerative capacities that our bodies have, and in surgeries and everything, that's great. But sometimes that blood clot will fall out, and what happens is that when we go out for our salad, we get a bit of food stuck in the blood clot. Uh -oh. <laughs> so instead of having a regeneration happening with that blood clot, we have empty, an empty hole and food, and more importantly, all those nasty bacteria that we have in our mouths. And no matter how much we brush, that is not going to get fixed. So, so, so the smell is coming from the process in there, the bacteria basically eating your dinner for you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The only way to fix this is by going back to your surgeon, back to your dentist, and having that cleaned, scraped out, and filled with a special collagen sponge so that we can create a new clot free of bacteria, free of infection, under antibiotics, mm. and the problem will go away. Now, would you experience, along with the bad breath there with that socket, would you be experiencing pain? Yes. One of the great symptoms is pain, but the very first one is bad breath. So if you have just had a tooth extraction and your breath is you know, really, really stink. If you've, got, if you've got that killer breath going on, you really need to go back to your dentist. You'll put you on antibiotics and scrape that out. What if, what if food's getting stuck other places, like in a crown or something like that? That is the next one I was going to talk about. Oh, so, how many people in the audience have bridge work, crown work, or dental work? Raise your hand. A lot of hands out there. So, basically, it's a lab process that makes an artificial crown or a tooth that sits over your natural teeth or a dental implant. If the fit of that crown, of that bridge work, is not perfect, and it doesn't fit properly, what's going to happen is that bacteria is going to slowly infiltrate under the crown. No matter how many times you, you, you brush with that, you're not going to get under the crown. And the only way to fix that problem is by removing the structure and having it done new. And how do you make that diagnosis? In the x-ray, if you can see a micro gap in between the natural tooth and the crown, if you can see that in the x-ray, Guess what bacteria are going to see? That's like oh, the yeah. great and canyon. Yeah. That's the grand canyon for them, you know? Like, yeah, they that's just like, love it. Yes. I mean, your dentist can say, well, we can put in some composite or some bonding. That's not going to work. If that's not going to fit on the, on the first appointment, it's never going to be good. And you're going to get that stinky breath, which is something we don't want. You know, and and yeah. if you're nervous, you should date your dentist just like we say date your doctor. <laughs> Meaning, make sure you're comfortable with your cosmetic dentist who's going to be doing the crowns. It's true. Because you want a good fit. You want them to do a good so, job. So what are you doing matter. Friday night? <laughs> well, Different kind Miguel, of date? thank oh. you as thank always. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it.